Hi, Peter here from Dream AV. I'm going to take you through a very, very useful tool which is available on the Vicoustic website. Vicoustic is a company that produces uh, great acoustic treatment products which will alter how acoustics perform in your room or how your room or any noise you're making in that room transfers through to another room in, in case of eliminating that transfer. Vicoustic is a very progressive company. They have a fantastic range of acoustic treatment solutions and the difference between Vicoustic and most other acoustic treatment companies is that they are very, very concerned on the interior design factor of how their acoustic treatments look. It's a great product, it's fantastic performance and it's suited for any area, home cinema, hi-fi, restaurants, commercial areas, even your living room where you've got a very, very bright sounding room. But what I'm going to show you today is how you can actually construct or create your plan for acoustic treatment. You do have options. You can go to your specialist retailer, one that is actually authorized in Vicoustic products is quite ideal. Or you can come talk to us at Dream AV and we can help you in this process. But in the meantime, you can actually look at how, it, uh, how the system works and how you can create your own acoustic plan. So here I am on the Vicoustic homepage, which is vicoustic.com. Through these little tabs up the top here, you can move into different products and different areas and have a look at what's available. What we're going to look at here is project request. I'm just clicking on that now. So in project request, as we scroll down, it gives you a couple of different options here. One is for building and construction, and the other one is for broadcast hi-fi and cinema. But for most of us, we're going to be in this sort of area here, so I'm just going to click on that. That will then open up a Vicoustic project request form. This is what you need to fill in to get your project underway. Uh, there is a cost associated with this to give you a bit of an idea. To get a proper room acoustic analysis could be into the thousands of dollars um, normally. And Vicoustic offer this service at a very, very keen price. Basically because when the design comes out, it will come out with a Vicoustic product. And obviously if you were to go ahead, you're going to obviously put in Vicoustic products. So they subsidize the cost of their design services uh, ultimately by the fact that they actually supply and manufacture the um, product you'll be using. So this form's pretty easy to fill out. As you see here, you just put in your name, any details, profession, company, phone number, your address. The ones here with the little red asterisk on it are required. Uh, others aren't, but it's always good to put in enough information there. And then we go into a couple of areas here where the main project information is. Uh, this is based on a single room application. So if you've got more than one room, you'd have to fill out more than one of these forms for each particular room. It talks about here that the final price refers only selected characteristics of the project. So when you do your submission, you want to get it absolutely right because if you need to make changes once they've posted out and you'll see the result that you get from it, they're obviously going to make, require you to resubmit your project. So in that aspect, I would highly recommend coming and seeing ourselves or one of the specialist retailers authorized for Vicoustic to run through this for you because that way you're ensuring that you don't miss anything and it keeps the costs down. On here you've got project type, one is acoustic insulation. That's to deal with the movement of sound from one area to another. So we're talking about materials that go into your walls and into your ceilings and under your floors and so forth. The other one is acoustic treatment, which talks about the movement of sound within the environment inside the room, which is an important factor, both are. One is so you don't disturb people outside. The other one is so that your performance of product internally, um, so it's a hi-fi home cinema, is um, increase significantly or in the case of your living room or something like that it could be taking the brightness out of the living room which means dampening the sound a little bit so it doesn't sound so harsh in that environment so they have both positive and, and negative effects and sometimes you want those negative effects such as taking the brightness out of a room um, and other ones are positive you want to enhance as well so you have these two um, options here. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to select acoustic treatment. The prices state the same up here. And we're actually going to do acoustic insulation as well. And the reason why I'm doing that to show you that there's extra cost to do the insulation um, assessment. Um, so that's been added up here at the top. In insulation, they give you uh, three different choices of sound reduction, 70 decibels, 60 or 50. 
obviously the more that you want the or, or production of sound transference from one room to another the more costly it's going to become in use of materials so you really have to decide what sort of level that you want done in this case we're going to go to efficient we're looking at doing a home cinema um, so we'll go for an efficient level here the cost uh, style and cost for acoustic treatment so you've got two different choices here you've got studio solution which is more of a commercial type solution where the looks of the product aren't primary so you can actually have a cheaper solution where it's a little bit more just exposed foam um, and then you've got a premium solution where you're starting to use far better products that are covered with wood and fabrics and they represent a more elite looking interior design so for this job as a home cinema we're going to go for premium solutions it hasn't affected the price because it's just telling you what you want the type of room in this section on the project request it gives you a recording room a vocal booth home cinema hi-fi if we click on recording room which is more of a studio scenario it's it's relatively uh, easier for them to design so the price doesn't go up but if we go into something like a home cinema the home cinema is more dynamic there are more other th other things to think of there are more speakers in there there's more sitting positions so it does take a lot longer to assess and hence why there's been more added to here the area is the size of the room, it's pretty straightforward. In this case we're looking at a standard sort of mid 20 square meter room which is about average for a home cinema room. And so we'll click on that there and it adds a price up here as well because the size of the room, the more work there can be if it's a larger room. Just to give you an example, if we go down to here where around the 110 square meter room, you'll see that the price goes up further because again there's more analysis, there's more work that has to be done. But bearing in mind that relative to a full acoustic analysis and, and doing that sort of stuff where someone comes out and does all that, this is thousands of dollars. Here we're talking, yes, it's in euros translated across to Australian dollars. It's probably just a little bit over between 300 and 350 dollars to get this analysis done, which you consider there's a lot of work being done and it doesn't cost you a lot of money. I'll skip this area for the moment here and come back to it, this uh, space description, but what I wanted to do here was go straight to the construction materials. So this talks about what your walls, ceiling and floor are made of and that's quite important because these act as effects on your uh, sound within the room and also how they're going to isolate the room. So in a lot of cases you just need to go through and say what's what the materials are, whether it's carpet, wood floor, whether it's chip rock or whether it's brick wall or, or whatever it is to let them know what they're dealing with. If you've gone through the website and you've seen some product you like and uh, certain areas or certain things that you've seen you liked of, this is an area that you can stick that into here. So then you can give de details and give a direction if you've got a particular preference for anything. On here there's also asking you to upload templates and photos. So if you have uh, it's an existing um, room you can basically send some photos through it all helps especially with the interior design and it gives better ability to um, uh, design the system but you can also download a template and I'll just show you the template is just a blank template that you can just download from Vicoustic and here's one that shows you an example of what's been filled out so here you can see everything's been detailed here are the measurements of the room where the windows are where the speakers are going to be where the sofa is going to be bookshelf all those aspects there and room height you can also send through your plans and put these details on your building plans um, or you can do both to make sure they get the most information possible so there's quite a, um, a good way to feedback information about your room uh, and as sorry just go back to here the reason why I wanted to come back to this area there is once you've all done that if you've got any other details there like you might want to say what your couch whether it's a leather couch or it's a fabric couch um, whether they're floor standing speakers or in ceiling speakers or any details like that anything that you can't put on the plans this is an area where you can put down any information you find relevant and the more you can give the better uh, for the uh, people that are designing this little things like whether you've got a solid door or it's a, a standard door for your entry to the room or whatnot or any nuances that you've got there finally you can choose whether it's a standard delivery between 15 and 20 working days whether it's urgent obviously urgent is a priority so it adds an additional cost or whether it's very urgent you want it very very quickly again it all comes down to cost terms and conditions I would always recommend reading terms and conditions. They're always a pain to read, I understand that, but this is pretty important to do it. 
once you've decided everything's all right or you've been working with your uh, authorized specialist for acoustic retailer then you can go to submit and that would send the plans off you go through a payment process and uh, the plans get underway now I'm going to show you what you would actually get back as an example and I've got a couple of examples here this first one is a music and cinema listening room. So this is a combined room which has a multifunction purpose. So this is the document that you actually do get back. The first up, they give you an introduction which talks about the acoustic treatments that they're recommending for the room, um, what they're trying to solve and how they're doing things. It's quite good because it gives you a bit of an idea of what they've gone through and what they're thinking. From there they do a motor analysis. This is technical information which looks at the sound uh, room resonance frequencies in the dimension and harmonics. Um, very technical if you understand anything about this it's great information but they include this in the documentation so you do understand uh, what's actually been going on in your room and they do give a bit of a description there as to what's happening and applying certain things will help with that um, scenario. Then they move on to 3D drawings. This is a 3D mock-up of your room, which is fantastic. You can see here all the different materials that are being used and the colors, so you can see how it's matched to your room. From there, they go to sketch drawings, which also shows you where products are going to be placed and helps your installers know where to place the product. So it gives a lot more detail um, to make sure everything gets done correctly. So it's quite a very useful tool. They then look at the room characterization, which is a before and after scenario. They show you how the room was before treatment and then uh, how the room was after treatment to show you what the treatment's done to that room, as well as the modes analysis as well, which shows you what they've done with those issues. Finally, they give you a list of all the products. They show you each product that they're recommending in the project. And then they give you a list of everything you need, which is in number of units. So it makes it very, very easy. You can go and get this done yourself and enter the data and then take it to your authorized acoustic reseller. And then all they need to do is they need to look at all the information down here and then they can quote you up a price based on what components you need to make your project work. And then finally, they go through who's actually looked at your uh, job. And here we've got an acoustical consultant, an interior designer, We've got a civil engineer and a product designer. So quite a few people have actually looked over your job and authorized it. So it's not just a fly by night thing. It's actually quite um, a well designed, well supported technical um, document that they've gone through. And you will find significant change in the performance of your room as a result. I'll show you another job here. This one is for a home cinema. So again, they've got an introduction here which talks about the, the differences of that room and the specifics of this room and what they're trying to achieve and what they're trying to change. Again, a modal analysis, 3D drawings in particular for a cinema room here. So as you can see here, it's quite different uh, compared to the previous room. It's more cinema orientated, but it definitely shows you uh, a lot of detail of where all the product's going to go. Again, your sketch drawings, which again show you where everything's going to go. And the difference between this and just a simple sketch drawing that you can get done is that there's a proper analysis behind this. This is not just we're going to place this product here and that product there. There's scientific basis for where every single piece is going and every product's going and then balance with an interior design approach as well. Room characterization. And then again, listing all the products. So it just shows you a different... Um, aspect to the uh, to the type of job that you can get um, um, quoted on and how it will come out in a different project format but basically the projects all follow this whether it's for a hi-fi room a home cinema room a general listening room a, a multimedia room even your restaurant uh, commercial space um, this is all online it's a fantastic tool uh, we highly recommend using Vicoustic product as well as this tool. Uh, if you need any more information, you can either contact us here at dreamav.com.au and drop us a line and we'll be happy to help you. Uh, or you can contact a specialist retailer that supports Vicoustic product. Uh, if you do also drop us a line, we will put you in touch with the right person to do that as well. Otherwise, thank you and I hope this has been very helpful.